Hey, 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 I got something to share with you. So you got a business, you got a brand. How are you showing up? Do you have what you need to look the part? What do you do? I got a few tips for you. So if whether you're doing your photos or you're doing videos or live streams, you always kind of want to look a little bit like who you really are as a human being. Because if someone dolled you up and you hired a stylist, and I know I never styled real people for shoots, I styled big brands, celebrities, magazines, as a whole other level, but I know what it is about zhuzhing it up. Those people, they're paid to be models, they're paid to be celebrities, they're paid to be this malleable creature to do whatever they're doing. They're not real, they're kind of just the hanger, if you want to think of it that way. But you, you're real. You're a real person. No one's buying this fake on image of you. They're buying you. They're buying you to know who you are, how you show up, what you represent, how relative you are, how relatable you are, how authentic you are. So you can't hire that stuff out because then it's not true to you. If you want to hire it out, you need to know that the person who you're taking the expertise from is not making you like a color form dress up Barbie doll of who they think you should be, but they're actually getting in to know you. So for instance, let's talk about style because I've been in style a long time, but I've also been in marketing and business just as long. So when it comes to me, I'm kind of a New Yorker, right? So when I'm relating to you, I'm coming out myself. One time club girl, downtown kind of girl, been in business a long time, love my New York stuff. So maybe today I'm deciding to wear a little bit of kind of my rock and roll leopard for you. But I'm also wearing a top I wear all the time, which I kind of love. You may have even seen it in some other videos. But you'll also realize I got a house in Wyoming. So sometimes I go to Jackson Hole and I'm like a cow girl, even though I can't really ride a horse, but I'm a cow girl. So you think I have a whole different wardrobe about that? Not necessarily. It's how I put things together. Maybe there I'm wearing my cowboy boots with my plaid shirt, but come to think of it, I kind of wear them in New York too. So what I'm saying is when you're your business, when you're your brand, and you really know who you are, where ever you are it's about you my brand colors are always the same they're not just on my website they're the same colors in my house they're the same colors in my wardrobe they're the same colors in my office there's a reason i like those colors they're me so when you learn how to go deep and get authentic with yourself you will see a flow that no matter where you are no matter what you do from the fonts you choose to the clothes you wear to the scenery behind you it's all going to go together and be relatable to you. And when you're doing your own photos, you need to make sure that in that one tenth of a second online, people see you and understand you and they can look at me and go, oh, that's Sharon. It looks like Sharon. So I want them to be able to look at you in a photo, in a snap and say, that's you. It's really simple. You just need to learn how. I'll show you. Just keep following me along. Authentically, position yourself for success so you can instantly scale your ideal audience. Join the revolution. Become an authentic superstar. Learn more at AuthenticSuperstar.com. The Authentic Superstar Photo Challenge with me, Sharon Haver. See you there.